The National Wildlife Research Center, or NWRC, is part of the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Wildlife Services Program. Its mission is to apply scientific expertise to resolve problems between people and wildlife. The center partners with many groups to develop new tools and techniques for use in wildlife damage management. These partnerships often lead to the transfer of new technologies to the private sector and the formation of new businesses and products. The NWRC promotes technology transfer by publishing and presenting its research findings, hosting workshops, and protecting and licensing inventions for commercial products. These activities are supported by the Federal Technology Transfer Act of 1986. This act allows federal laboratories to form partnerships with private sector industries to enhance the development and commercialization of new technologies. For example, the NWRC is negotiating licensing agreements with several private companies for the production and sale of the first federally registered injectable wildlife contraceptive called Gonicon. This new vaccine was developed by NWRC scientists and has been successfully tested in a variety of species. Not only can it be used to help reduce reproduction in overabundant wildlife, but it may also provide an alternative to spaying and neutering in companion animals, such as dogs and cats. Another product that has benefited from NWRC's expertise is an oral contraceptive bait for use with pigeons and resident Canada geese. The edible bait is fed to birds during their breeding season. It effectively reduces the hatchability of eggs by causing the yolk and egg white to mix. The bait called OvaControl, was developed in cooperation with the private company Inalytics and is now sold nationwide. Oftentimes, NWRC scientists will test and evaluate new wildlife damage management products. For example, scientists evaluated a new scare device for Canada geese. The study, which was done at the request of TKO Enterprises, put the company's patent-pending image sensor technology to the test. Results on the ability of the device to detect and scare Canada geese provided valuable feedback to the company and will likely improve their product's effectiveness. Each year, more than 7,000 bird aircraft collisions occur in the United States, costing the airline industry millions of dollars in damage and lost revenue. At our field station in Sandusky, Ohio, scientists are collaborating with a private company and university researchers to investigate whether new lighting systems on planes can make the planes more visible to birds. Recent studies involving captive Canada geese and a remote-controlled plane outfitted with a unique lighting system are showing promising results. Researchers are optimistic their efforts will lead to new methods to help birds detect and avoid aircraft. These are just a few of the exciting research partnerships between private companies and the NWRC. To learn more, please visit our website at www.aphis.usda.gov slash wildlife underscore damage slash NWRC.